In this video, we're going to take a look at how we sync Logic Pro to Pro Tools via MIDI timecode, which is also known as MTC. Now, this is a really useful thing to do if you are a film and TV composer and you want to write all your cues in Logic, but you want Pro Tools to be your master overview session that shows you all your stereo mixes, all your stems for the cues that you're working on, um, and basically keep an overview of where you're up to as you're progressing through the project. And it really helps manage timelines. And then eventually you can use this session to deliver everything to the dub to be mixed into the film. Let's start with looking at Pro Tools. So if we go to Pro Tools, we can see here that there is a master overview session. And if I were to zoom out, we can see on the timeline that there are five different reels for this film. We're going to be focusing on reel two. As we can see for reel two, which is this session, we can see that there are seven completed cues all stemmed out, but there's still something missing at the very start of the reel. So we're going to start by syncing logic to write the cue that goes at the beginning of the reel. Now, the first thing that's really important to know is at what time code does this particular reel start at? As you can see in Pro Tools, this reel is spotted to the timecode 01595200. I have spotted it to Pro Tools in that time because that is the timecode in the film that is printed in the image on frame one of this reel. So the editor is telling me where to place this reel. So Logic has to start in the exact same time code place. So if we flip to Logic, in Logic, if we go to the settings and we go to MIDI, if we go to sync and then we open the MIDI sync project settings, under general, we can see exactly where we can start the time code from. So in Pro Tools, as we noted, it started at 01595200. This time code here has to be 0159. 5200. And we can decide where in our logic timeline we wish this to start. So we could start it at uh, bar number one, or maybe we can start it at bar five. We could start it where, you know, wherever we want. Having done that, we then need to go into the settings that enable us to communicate with Pro Tools. So that's going to be done via MIDI. In the MIDI list here, we can see that there is a destination for the clock and also MTC. In this list, we need to choose something that is going to sync with Pro Tools. Now, I don't want any of these communications because maybe, for example, they're going to hardware synth in my studio. What we need to do is we need to create a destination for that. So if we open up audio MIDI setup, and if by default this MIDI studio window is not showing, you can click the window option and it's under hide and show MIDI studio here. And there's this option which is called an IAC driver. So if we double click this, we can then turn that device so it's online. Now when I navigate back to Logic, we can see that the IAC driver bus one is available to me. And I can choose to send MIDI timecode. The next thing that's really important is Pro Tools needs to receive this. So if we go back to Pro Tools, under the setup options in peripherals, under synchronization, we have the MTC reader port, which can be accepted by any MIDI connection that is also shown in Logic. And as we can see here, there is already an IAC bus one driver ready for me to go, but you can choose from any predefined list. So we choose the same one that Logic's going to. And then in the transport at the top, we click the clock symbol, which when active, allows Pro Tools to look out for incoming MTC messages. Now there's one final stage here, which is we need to make sure that the session in Logic is running at the same frame rate as the session in Pro Tools. That frame rate will be determined by the film that you are given. So if I go into setup and session, I can see that after I've imported the video, the feet and frame rate and the timecode rates are all 24. 
find navigate back to logic and under the MIDI project settings again in general, I can choose to set the frame rate to 24. Having now done this, I can close this. I set it to go from bar five. So if I click on bar five in logic, we can see that the time code is 01595200. So if I now hit play and I flip to Pro Tools, we can see that Pro Tools is now playing in perfect sync. Now, there's one more thing that you might be interested in with this, which is the way that I work. I have Pro Tools running on a separate computer to the one that I'm writing the music on. How do I then communicate with Pro Tools on a second system when Logic is on my laptop, for example? So if I very quickly go to share screen, this is a shared connection on my iMac for the exact same session. So again, we need to enable the clock, but what we need to do is we need to make sure there is an active connection between the two computers via network. Again, in audio MIDI setup, we then need to go to this network option in the top corner. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that audio MIDI setup has an active network connection. So we create the plus one here and we call this network session. And we want to set it so anyone can connect to this. Moving to the iMac, which is the master computer with Pro Tools on, we then once more open up audio MIDI setup. And we show MIDI Studio. And we go to network. And we can see here that in the sessions created, because both of mine are connected via network, this could be Wi-Fi or it could be a gigabit switch. We can connect to this. So again, we'll create an active session and we'll call it the same thing. And we will connect to the laptop. And what we will do is we will make sure that the live routings incoming are the network MTC session. So flipping back to Logic Pro on the main computer, if I was to once more go into the settings and under MIDI, the next thing that we would do is we would choose that network MTC connection, which is now available to me. And we again send it MTC. Now back in uh, Pro Tools on the remote rig, we can make sure that the connections are anyone. We minimize the network session and we go to Pro Tools, set up peripherals once more. And as we can see here in the predefined option, we get that network MTC connection, which we've just created. And we can click OK. So now when I start Logic on the main machine, again, we'll do that from bar five. And we go to Pro Tools on the remote machine we can see that that is now playing along with Logic. So if we bring these up together, we should be able to see them both. So here we can see that they're both running at the exact same time. If you have any further questions about this, please do get in touch with us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.